Um, this is not. This is one of those trades that again, I just uh, I'll, exp I'll just show it to you, but I don't recommend that you play it. Just learn it and um, and understand when are the right times to to play it. But it, it hit this level. That's why I was saying 1,000, and it hit up here at 97. So I looked at 97, uh, got my first uh, fill on that. I was looking for here if it uh, came into this level because I took a shot at. Uh, at 97 I would have waited to see if it got up 10 points higher than my first fill so I could take my next one where I would probably have been close to getting stopped out of this one um, but again immediately these these are so far away uh, these are uh, extreme levels and uh, you can see your one minute boxes uh, your one minute leading indicator was uh, we were so far away from that and if you uh, let me show you here on if you look all the way to your right where um, where I've got the dollar Swiss, we were hitting this uh, level up here, the second red, I believe, or actually we were into the third red. Anyway, so I, I, I just went ahead and saw that, and I knew 1,000, we were close enough to it. I went ahead and sold that one quickly, made a quick 10. <clears throat> but that's a trade that, again, I recommend. Um, it's, it's really an advanced trade. It takes a lot of practice, as sometimes, as I said, these are what we call our Pippinacci walls and uh, I'm actually not really wanting to present this as a trade for uh, for beginners it is a trade but I think this is something once you've been doing this for at least two or th minimum three months and you've gotten the hang of the other stuff then then you can start looking at these because uh, if, if you don't use these under the right conditions uh, they can get you and uh, and, and I think uh, you know like I said it <coughs> uh, it's uh, even for us that that are more experienced with it. Uh, you know, you you've got you've got to know how to defend yourself. As sometimes they don't work, um, and then when they don't work, then you got to find you know number one to get out of it, and then number two, where do you get back in it if you do at all? And uh, and I have a tendency to see these trades really traders struggle a lot with it. So I I would much rather that um, you practice these a lot before you really put them apply them uh, to your real account.